Heart of a Hoodlum, Ren and Red by Jamel Stubbs, aka Lil Mel. <laughs> the hood's a lot. Treat every day like a portrait. Picture yourself as an artist or a painter. Every day you get up with one thing on your mind success. It's all about how much time you're gonna spend on creating the best picture at the end of the day. When it's all said and done, Type of picture would you paint? It's on you. All money ain't good money. But shit, being broken no good feeling. So fuck it. You see, I come from a big family full of knuckleheads, hustlers, and go getters. That I was 20 years old. Just had lost my job, my uncle, two aunts, a couple close partners of mine, and plus one of my cousins that just got kidnapped. Thought that shit only happened in movies, huh? One of my cousins just got sent down the road. He doing three as we speak. Niggas was in a lick and fucked around and got pent with the murder of my other little cousin, which was his nephew. You see, it was supposed to be a sweet hit, in and out, but it turned out to be a failed mission. The guy whose house it was came home from work a little earlier than expected. He seen broken glass by the side door window. And he instantly barged in and started shooting. And that ended up leaning my little cousin Raheem getting shot to death. Poor Raheem. He was a good kid. Just put in a bad situation. Man, some of these niggas ain't even been through enough pain to look me in my eyes. That's me right though. I go by the name of Lamel the Hood Celeb. I'm from a very historic small city called Birmingham, Alabama. AKA Murderham. AKA First 48, AKA Afghanistan. Shit, the list goes on and on. But coming up in the hell, you get reality handed to you at a very early age. For instance, 410 2010. That's a day I'll never forget. Why? Because that was the day I survived death. Me and my mom both were victims of a drive by shooting earlier that morning. The shooters were caught later on switching tags. They left us for dead. I don't know if it was a miracle or faith that allowed me and her to survive that day. But all I do know is that we did survive. I was born in Birmingham, Alabama, on the west side. From the area they call West End, Tuscaloosa Air, aka Trap Air. I witnessed a lot, seen a lot, damn sure learned a lot on the air. As a kid, I was very observant and used to ask questions a lot. And learned at a very early age that the same thing that'll make you laugh or make you cry.